All right, so this is a very simple video. As I say, duplicate a weapon for your own personal. So you want to create your own weapon, but not an enchanter, and you want it to do more damage, this or that. Um, this is going to be a tutorial on that, and also how to replace this model after we do the first bit. So I saw this question on Facebook. Um, followers having trouble. It's a very, very simple. What the shit? Very simple process. Oh my god. Alright, my bad. So do get my phone. Alright. So <coughs> I'm dying here, sorry. So for any modder out there, I one hundred percent will always suggest creation club uh, sorry, creation kit S E fixes or creation kit two fixes. God tier mod. Fanny modder. You go without it. You're slowing yourself down. Um, it will speed up your creation kit ten times. No messages, no bullshit warnings, or this and that. It's just top tier. All right. So what you want to do, right? So what I'm imagining, right, is I'm going to create a new sword. I'm going to go imperial. Say I want an imperial sword. Now, um, go to weapons first. So go down to items. Open up items, and you'll see weapons. This one down here, imperial sword. Okay, all well, these are templates. They use this sword right here. Now, we want to make it unique, so quite simple. Um, so Taurus sword, now it's got a unique ID name, which is good. Now we need to give it a unique name, so it doesn't... It's going to be very hard to find it in add item menu or console command, it's called Imperial Sword. So Taurus's... Um, Imperial Sword. It's done. Now, we're able to change all this shit. So we've got game data, change its weight, we can change its reach, so we get a 2, it could be like, we should change it to 10, we could probably hit a dude 10 metres away. Speed is your default 1, um, again, that is the sword speed, you can change that, say you've got a two-hand weapon, you can change it to 1, or you can change it to 0 0.5, making it super fast. Damage, so, you know, it's measly 8, I might want to give it a um, 19, no, I'll give it a 25, which is, you know, like four times as much as it already is. No, not four times, but you know what I mean? It's going to hit like a truck, especially when it scales if you're level, if you're one-handed. <coughs> All right, so you pretty much add extra data. I guess the sound and this sort of stuff is for when you're actually like, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. So I've got the damage, projectiles, I guess if you, I'm not too sure of works of swords, but maybe if you hit them, it might hit them twice. Um, morally for arrows. The same project can be used for arrows. You know, you might shoot two arrows instead of one. Enchantment, you know, I scroll all the way down here for like weapon enchantments. Absorb health, six. And give the enchantment 1600. Value, just hit three random numbers. Oh my god, there you go. That's how much it's worth. And it's now a new sword. Completely brand new. So if I wanted to find it in the game, I would simply open up the console and type this centaur, you know, and it'd give me the name of the character and it'd give me a weapon. So I'd basically add item, whatever the ID is for this, which would it actually does show you this. It won't show you the first two because it's the creation kit, but ignore the very first. So o, so OE is not the one you're looking for. So CC0682 is pretty much the majority of its cons its IDs but you can do that in the game. So that's the weapon. It's simple as that. It's You just do play the weapon, gave it a new name, gave it a, an official new name for the actual game. This name up here is for the creation kit. You know, it needs a new name so it doesn't overwrite the Imperial Sword. And this right here is for the game's name so the game can find it. Changes damage, its weight, its reach, speed, all this crap. The VAT stuff, I'm not too sure that's even used in this game. Now, that's done. That's easy as that. You can you, mate, you can go god tier and give it 1,000. I mean, it'll pretty much, it'll pretty much one hit everything. And it'll pretty much, you know, as soon as you hit that one person, it'll like increase your one handed to like <laughs> 100 straight away. Um, that's the way you wanted to do it. Now, there's another thing I want to show you, right? Is how to say you want to add your own sword 
model into the game. Now this model needs to be, you've made it good on you. you, should, you know. But if, say if it's from another ESP, uh, like a mod, you, say you're very tight on ESP slots and you don't want to add an entirely new ESP for a weapon because you can't make it into an ESL. So what we're going to do, we're going to just take that mesh from that different mod and implement it <coughs> into your mod. So there's a couple things you need to change, right? We're going to use a one-hander, because I'm not going to go into showing you how to convert a two-hand to a one-hand, or one-hand to a two-hand, that's too much work for at the moment. But what we're going to do, we're going to need to change this thing right here. So we're in Art and Sound, Weapons and Imperials. So if, you've, if you just want to learn to duplicate the weapon and make it like a version of your own, um, you're done here. But if you want to learn a little bit more and learn how to add a model, so say you want to change that Imperial Sword, um, the way it looks, then this is for you. So, this right here. We want to change it from an Imperial Sword <coughs> to a different Imperial Sword from a different mod. <coughs> and I'll have to edit this. <coughs> so, like I said, we want to change this model. I'm going to open up the crew. Yeah, I messed it up by accident. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> Probably dying here. I don't even know about it. So, we're in the meshes. Now, of course, yeah, hopefully you installed that mod. Um, you've installed the mod with the sword models and it's all good to go. So I think mine is an armor replacer. Yes, by the looks of it. Legion. Now scroll all the way down here. Now don't worry about the left, that's for like other shit. So imp one, as we can see, this is just a standard Imperial Sword for that model, but I might want the unique one, so I'm just trying to find it first. No, that's the officer one. Might be the Ventilius Oculatus. Here we are. No. Nope. Oh, yep. I know which one it is. It's, it's like White Tower. <coughs> Shield officer sword. There we go. So that's what we want. We want this model right here. Okay. Now we go into all, and we go Imperial. First person Imperial sword. We go. You know, Centaur sword. Give the same model. Now, should I should already remember where you were. Yep. Officer sword. Boom. Okay, you've given a new name. Always make sure you give it a new name before you do anything. Go okay, to a uh, Centaur sword. change this to wherever the hell I left it. Uh, first person. I don't know why I named it to be honest. There it is. Boom. So that's done. So this new sword that I yeah, I I made just be a copy of the Imperial Sword. Now is a different Imperial Sword. For those that are interested. And so we're gonna open up a new character. I get a female, because I've got no high elf. And we're going to give her the sword. Now, of course, it's top, you know, this is just to show you. Um, Goss Centaurus Imperial Sword. And there it is. The sword is on the character. When you wield it as a first hand, it will show up, and that's what it will look like. So that is a simple tutorial on how to, say, duplicate a weapon that you want for your personal use. Like you want to make a god tier, elven sword, and also a tutorial on how to, say, add new models to that said duplicate sword that you made if you want it to look a little bit more unique. And hopefully this has helped you guys. I'm out of here. Peace out.